First on Fox, an attempted mass escape at St. Louis's juvenile detention center. A worker is in the hospital after being severely beaten. Now there have been several escapes and attempted escapes in the past year. New at 10, Fox 2's Andy Banker with the simple issue that seems to be causing big problems in a story you'll see only on Fox. Police say it happened just before midnight. Three detainees assaulted a corrections officer. It all started when one of them asked to use the bathroom. A staff member says there are no toilets in individual cells, so the unarmed detention officers, officially called youth leaders, have to unlock the cells to allow detainees to use a restroom. Police say a 17-year-old beat the 61-year-old male officer who opened his cell, took his keys, and opened the cells of fellow detainees. A witness says nearly 15 were freed inside the center. The victim is hospitalized for broken facial bones. Members of the St. Louis Police Anti-Crime Task Force happened to be on site for an unrelated assignment. They helped detention officers stop what could have been a mass escape. Police took three detainees ages 14 to 17 into custody. Dwayne Cutts lives nearby. I mean, it's an ongoing issue that has been going on for years now. I know that to be a fact. And it seems like somebody would step forward and, and actually make a difference over there and uh, improve the security in their living arrangements. In December, a 17-year-old was hit and killed as he ran from a crashed car onto Interstate 70 in St. Louis. He had escaped the detention center about three months earlier, one of at least 10 detainees to escape in less than a year. A staff member says the restroom issue heightens tensions, with detainees frequently urinating and defecating on cell floors. Having to unlock cells so detainees can use a restroom puts staff at risk and has led to repeated escapes. The chief juvenile officer for the 22nd Judicial Circuit Court issued a statement confirming the latest escape attempt and saying the court is reviewing security and operational measures related to this incident. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.